Well, it was quite a day to take a trip up the Sandia tram. Mary happened to capture the flight just at the right time. And a little bit of a dusting of snow up in the Sandias. A good couple of inches. Once you get up around Sandia Park, though, we have reports about a half a foot of snow up there. But a brilliant shot and pretty much saw it across the valley. Picks at KRQE.com is the address. If you got some pictures, we would love to see them. Winter storms still hanging on. Matter of fact, we've got a winter weather advisory continuing for the northeastern corner of the state. So we're talking Colfax and Union counties and still a few flurries north of the Raton area. It's not a huge deal, but still there's indications that this storm could continue to bring us a little bit of wraparound moisture into at least the 10 o'clock hour. So by, I think, this evening, we'll probably see that come off the boards. One thing is for sure, though, in the wake of this storm, it is cold. We're talking 30s right now, 30s in Albuquerque, Santa Fe. We've got 20s in Taos, Raton, Las Vegas, 31 in in uh, uh, Las Vegas, that is. Of course, tonight it's going to even get colder. What we're going to experience is what you call radiational cooling. Now, when you've got the clouds around, it's kind of nice because the clouds act as a blanket and insulate us. But with the cloud-free zone that we're going to be in tonight, we're going to lose a lot of the accumulated heat, if you will, to the atmosphere. And those clear skies and the calm winds are going to contribute to a very cold night tonight. And that's probably what the trend is going to be over the next couple of nights. Now, as the storm moves out, we'll develop up this ridge of high pressure. It's going to bring us some chilly nights, but mild days. Matter of fact, through the middle of the week, we'll kind of warm things up. Quick hitter low swings off to our north, may bring us some breezes in the middle of the week, but next week, we're tracking another storm, and this is on our radar screen, and I want you to make you aware of it because it's going to change things up again. It kind of seems like we're in the stormy mix, at least over the weekends, and next weekend looks like we'll see more of the same. Looks like that storm is going to track north of here. This is the, uh, the track that we're seeing right now, but it could dive a little bit further south. But it's going to bring snow to the northern portions of, of New Mexico, definitely up into Colorado, but it could be just a big windmaker for us. And again, we got plenty of time to see what this storm is going to do. But just making you aware that potentially next Saturday and Sunday might be a movie weekend, a good time to head out to the movies because it's just going to be a little too windy for us. <laughs> Overnight lows tonight will be very cold, as mentioned earlier, with the radiational cooling. Temperatures drop in the single digits, teens and 20s. Down south, we'll see some 30s. We're in Carlsbad and Hobbs. 50s for us for those highs. So not too bad for us uh, tomorrow afternoon. Of course, across the board, it looks like we'll be a little bit warmer than what we're seeing today, but definitely going to be a chilly night tonight in the East Mountains. Teens and 20s. Over to the metro area, plan on a cold night tonight with clear skies and light winds. Matter of fact, we'll probably see a few areas dropping into the low, low 20s around Santa Fe, and we'll be below freezing downtown. That is for sure. Seven-day forecast. Hey, if you're not liking the cold air, it's looking like we will end up in the 40s and 50s over the coming days in Santa Fe. Matter of fact, Albuquerque. Check this out. We'll be up in the 60s by the middle of the week. Maybe slightly breezy middle of the week as well, but we are watching the next storm system because that is what we do in the Weather Center as we track those storms. It looks like Saturday and Sunday could be another one for us. Okay. Thank you, Travis. Here's a look.